Hi, I'm Dr. Toyos of Toyos Clinic. We've had a dry eye clinic for over 20 years, so I've been experimenting and doing research and trying different things to help people with their dry eye. One of the things that we came up with uh, was intense pulse light uh, for dry eye. You can see those videos uh, also on YouTube, but today I'm going to be talking about another light treatment that we use here in the clinic for our dry eye patients, and that's a light treatment that they can take at home that we call the Q. How we basically came up with the name is the first name that we had for it was the Quantum, uh, and then uh, patients started coming in saying, uh, calling it the Q, the Q, the Q. So that's what uh, we call it. And basically, it's a little handheld uh, light device that we use in conjunction with intense pulse light to keep uh, glands working. But first, let's talk a little bit about dry eye, and so that we can uh, see why the Q works uh, to help your dry eye. So essentially I tell patients that their normal tear is made up of three parts, a water layer, a protein layer, and a fatty layer. So let's kind of uh, look at that. So here's your eye, these uh, tears are constantly being made. And let's go to a little bit. These tears are made and then they drain in these little drainage system called the nasolacrimal duct that goes into uh, the nose. Now the fatty layer is made up by uh, glands on the lid margin called the meibomian glands. The water layer is made up by a gland here uh, called the lacrimal gland. And then the protein layer is made up of cells, uh, made by cells here on the eye called uh, goblet cells. As you can see, these meibomian glands are right on uh, the lid margin. And one of the things I tell people is that uh, when you have these glands not functioning uh, property, properly, it's usually because it's a skin gland problem that's affecting uh, the eyes because of a poor tear. Most patients, 90% of patients who have dry eye have a uh, problem with their meibomian glands that they're not getting a proper uh, fatty layer to their tear. About 10% of patients have a problem in the lacrimal gland. Those are usually patients that have uh, Sjogren's uh, syndrome so that they're not making uh, enough water. Where the Q and intense pulse light works is the light stimulates these meibomian glands to work better. So usually your gland makes a nice olive oil like secretion, uh, basically when you have a problem like a skin or a gland problem uh, or hormonal problem and other problems, what happens is these glands uh, are dysfunctional and instead of making a nice olive oil like secretion, it makes a more thick toothpaste like secretion. So what we found with intense pulse light, if you give the specific wavelengths of light to these glands, the glands will start uh, working. And where we give this uh, energy is right here at the, at the lid margin. And what happens is that wavelength, of, those wavelengths of light penetrate down into the deeper tissues down to the glands to stimulate these glands to work better. Now, tense pulse light uses a lot of energy. When we're talking about these handheld devices that uh, we have the Q, it's actually LED, so the energy level is much less. Uh, and what we did is we experimented with different wave lights, uh, wavelengths of light to see which one would be safe for a patient to use at home. Uh, and then we experimented with different energy levels to see what energy levels would be safe for people uh, to use at home. So the goal of the Q is to give a little bit of energy uh, at a specific wavelength at the lid margin so that it can penetrate and then stimulate these glands to continue uh, to work uh, normally and continue to make a normal secretion. The added advantage is what we found out is a lot of patients that have dry eye they also have uh, overgrowth of bacteria on the lid margin. And the good thing about the wavelength that we're using, uh, experimentally, we already know that this wavelength actually kills uh, bacteria uh, on the lid margin. 
So there's two things, and I'm going to tell you about a third. Two things that we're getting from our little Q device. One is it will kill overgrowth of bacteria on the lid margin. Two, it'll give energy to stimulate the glands uh, to work better. And then three, one of the great things about it is that wavelength of light will generate heat in the dermis. So you've had patients uh, or doctors tell you in the past to go home and do a warm compress. Well, this is the most effective warm compress we've ever seen because instead of giving energy from the outside and hoping it gets in, this wavelength of light penetrates down into these deep tissues and warms up these meibomian glands. So it's, uh, most patients that use the Q tell us that uh, they feel better and it's like the best warm compress uh, that they ever had. So that warm compress will melt, melt thicker secretions so that you get uh, better flow uh, out of your glands. So here's the Q. So when you get your Q, uh, it's going to come in a box like this. You'll open up the box. There'll be a little instruction manual and also there'll be a website where you can get even more information on the Q. Then you'll pull out the Q and what you'll see is on the bottom of the Q there'll be a little tab there. Uh, that is for the rechargeable battery. Once you have your Q you're going to pull that uh, tab out and that allows you to charge uh, the battery. And then within the box of the Q uh, you're going to have a cord uh, so that you can plug this cord in and what you're going to do is you're going to uh, take this cord and you're going to plug it into a little uh, hole in the bottom there and then this part will go here and you could either charge this on a computer or you can actually charge it uh, off a wall socket. And then once it's charged, and what you're trying to do in charging is you want all four bars of light, uh, and that tells you it's fully charged. And what I do with my Q is when it gets down to two bars, I usually recharge it to get it back to fully charged. And then, as you can see, you're going you're gonna to open it up. And where you want to use this, and then you're going to press that uh, little button there, and then you're going to use it in the mid uh, portion of your lid. So what I like to do is, I like to tell patients they can put it right on the lid margin. And this wavelength of light is safe. And then uh, go ahead and push the button. Good. And, um, and then it will be activated once you uh, uh, put it on there. And then you're going to leave it there for a few minutes. Now. Um, the, the best is to leave it on there for about six minutes in the central part of your uh, middle lid margin. And then you're going to take it and you put it two minutes there on the corner. The reason why you're putting it on the corner for some extra minutes is those are usually the uh, worst glands um, in patients that have meibomian gland dysfunction. And then what you can do, you can close your eyes and you can put it right in the center of your upper lid margin. Uh, and you could do that for a couple minutes. Now, uh, what I'm finding is um, even just doing it for a few minutes, and then you're going to do that on both sides, even doing that for a few minutes uh, uh, every day or at least twice a week uh, will stimulate these glands uh, to work better. So if you have a choice of doing the full six, two, six minute, two minute, two minute, or just doing a few minutes, um, and or the choice of not doing it at all, I would prefer you even to do a few minutes and not, uh, and not skip. So you, our research showed that you have to use it at least twice a week uh, to get positive results in terms of better meibomian gland dysfunction and symptomatic relief. I've got a lot of patients that keep it by their bedside and they use it uh, every night. Whether they use it for the full uh, six minutes, two minutes, and two minutes, or just for a few minutes, it seems like the patients that uh, use it uh, every night seem to get uh, a benefit and a, and a great benefit from it. But again, you have to use it at least twice a week for it to be uh, effective. Now, uh, the only uh, side effects that, that we've seen is um, uh, we had one patient that was using it and they felt like it was uh, 
uh, causing some discoloration in the skin. So if you're a patient that has uh, that type of problem, then stop. Now, the main thing about the cue, it's only available in a doctor's office because we want doctors to monitor patients uh, when they're using it, uh, just so that they make sure they're using it properly um, and not having any problems or side effects from it. Um, there are selected uh, physician's offices that uh, have the cue. You do have to get a eye exam uh, before you start uh, using the cue. Uh, if you contact our office, we can uh, let you know uh, which offices are carrying uh, the Q uh, for their patients. Uh, we find this is a great adjunct to intense pulse light, and we find that patients who can't have intense pulse light, uh, this uh, uh, will work uh, to help their dry eye symptoms and help their dry eye and meibomian gland uh, dysfunction. Uh, so. Uh, I hope this training video, video has helped you and uh, uh, we hope that we can get you some relief from your dry eye. Thank you.